Y'all, I swear I'm going to die late. I just know it. <laughs> I've been on top for a while. I literally made it to the Chick-fil-A line for my order. <laughs> I, I was rushing out of the house. I literally made it within one minute before breakfast is over, but I did confirm that I was in a drive through line when I was at the light. So hopefully they have my food. I think they do, obviously, because I checked in with the girl, but um, I left my freaking memory card at home <laughs> while I was rushing out of the house. I'm hungry and I'm bench trying to watch my weight. I just uh, joined Weight Watchers and I'm on day four. So far I'm doing good. So, so far so good. So I woke up super hungry today, y'all, because yesterday was a tough day. I cannot lie, but let me grab my food because I see the car in front of me is about to get theirs and I cannot wait. We've got some errands to run and we've got some bookcases to build today. When I tell you I am so mad that I left my memory card, because y'all, it's too hard. Okay, so I make this place called Plato's Closet um, right now, and I want to see if they are, I have some costume jewelry, and I want to see what they accept the costume jewelry. Um, yes, I am about to eat my bowl that I got. I actually have two bowls. Um... I shouldn't even say bold because it doesn't have the hash browns, but I just basically got a grilled. Let me show y'all. Okay, so I basically got from Chick-fil-A. I'm on Weight Watchers, and if you don't know about Weight Watchers, basically you get points based on your height, your body type, okay? Your height, your weight, and I'm trying to eat within my points, of course, something low. So I got grilled chicken without wasting it, and... um egg i was gonna do egg white but when i looked on the app a uh, regular egg and um a egg were both zero points so this breakfast is going to be a total of four points for me because i am having coffee and i have to um count the creamer um for points but i don't have to count anything else which is good because breakfast is a hard one but look at all of what I get this is all of what I get for zero points so I've got two uh, fillets and two eggs so can't wait to eat that and I don't know I think this is zero but I'm gonna check jalapeno salsa yes you are supposed to count um, your sauces as well sometimes I count them I ain't gonna lie sometimes I don't I'm gonna look on the app and see how much this one is, though. It's probably a zero because it's only five calories.
really been out and about in these streets today y'all and it is warm outside i know that it's a little cooler outside but my thermostat says 91 honey we about to stop by starbucks and get some water while i was in the mall um i wanted to go to bath and body works but i left my coupon in the car so i got my coupon we about to hit up this ross and this bath and body works which is right next door and see what they got. Um, they have a new line of, um, they have a new line of candles like from the Bridgerton. <laughs> they have a new line of candles from the Bridgerton collection that I wanna check out. So the packaging is really cute. Um, I hope they smell good. I hope they don't sell. Um, and then I need to get some lotion cause I just looked up and I only have two bottles left and that'll be gone like next month for sure. So I hope they have my house shoes and Ross and then we're gonna go to Marshall's and Home Goods. I need to get something to eat because y'all I am starving. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna get uh, one of those burrito bowls with, I'm gonna put limited cheese on there and I'm gonna see how I'm gonna count for that. We'll see, we'll see. y'all i am finally finally home it's 7 45. i've been out y'all been out and about with me all day y'all i end up going to home goods marshall's um 
think my camera, uh, I don't have any more storage on my phone. That's what it is. I'm sorry if I'm looking up, I'm looking in this viewfinder, but y'all see my face is greasy. It was, it was a beautiful day outside, but it was like upper 80s. I think when we were in Ross, the last store, or was it Bath and Body Works? I think it was Bath and Body Works, y'all, my phone. It gave out, it was like, uh, you don't have no more storage because I, if you don't know and you're new here, I do all my editing on my phone and y'all I have so many pictures and videos and of course like when I am shooting on my phone or taking um pictures and stuff I erase a lot of that stuff believe it or not but y'all the mall had everything everything I did not need I like when I say that it was in a good way like it had some really cute stuff it had so much cute stuff in Zara I had to get up out of there. Do you hear me? I had to get up out of Zara, but I did score a few deals at um, Victoria's Secret. I might as well go ahead and give y'all a little sneak peek. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a haul on that stuff anyway. I went in there with the intentions of getting the 10 for 40 panty sale. Um, a few weeks ago, I had gone, maybe about three weeks ago I went, and they had eight for 35. So I was like, let me go back. And then unexpectedly they was having their spring sale. Um, so everything was like 50% off, like all of their bras. They had some cute outfits in there. And I know y'all saw, I, I, I shot some of that. Um, but I ended up picking up a few other things. So I got something to eat too. They had a really, they had a lot of cute stuff at the mall. I guess I'm gonna do a little haul with y'all. Um, I got my food here. And we are still within the provisions <laughs> of our um, points. And then I got some goodies from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I might as well go ahead and share them with you. I'm gonna share them. You know what? Let's move on to over to the living room first because um, I got a package in from Macy's. Macy's is having their uh, friends and family VIP. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired. All right, let me set y'all up. I'm just gonna set y'all up like some some kind of way, some kind of how like this here, so I can get this stuff open and do like a little haul with you guys here. Matter of fact, let's let's show y'all the stuff I got from um, Home Goods since I was unable to vlog in there. I um. I actually didn't pick up much. I was going to Home Goods actually to make a return and I left a bag in the car and completely forgot. But I'm looking for the Dior book like this. Um, I, the Dior book on the back is in pink. They just come in these little cute uh, individual books which you can kind of stack and collect the ones you want. Um, I got the Givenchy um, one. Uh, this one was $12.99. And then y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I was hungry. I got hungry like, I wasn't hungry after um, breakfast, I was pretty full, but all that shopping y'all, these, I've never seen these in home goods before. Um, comment below if you've tried these. I actually opened <laughs> them up in the car and tried a few. I need to account for them on my points for sure after i eat my burrito bowl i'm sure i don't have any more points but i tried a few and these were pretty doggone good honey walnuts it gives me an idea of put putting honey on um me some like some pecans i love pecans and walnuts those are my favorite so then i picked up this little cute makeup palette i think it is perfect for spring of course this is for the pink room and of course we did not buy it for the actual makeup itself but it's more like of a decor piece these little cheaper um palettes like nicole miller and i forget it's another one is it bh cosmetics or no not bh it's another one anyway but this is what the colors look like inside i mean they not bad but i'm pretty sure they're probably ashy but we're buying it for the aesthetics to go in my um in my makeup vanity and then that one was that one was 5.99 and 
Then I stopped at TJ Maxx because I did have a return at TJ Maxx. And while I was in there, I wasn't looking for these, but I was going down the clothing aisle. And I saw this girl, um, my pink sister on my Pretty Pink Sweets page. I saw her um, post it. I don't know her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw her make a reel or I think her story about um, this Jessica Simpson cute sweater and although you know we're getting warmed up i thought why not it's like the perfect baby pink it has pearls this is basically giving me all of the chanel rich auntie vibes um this one's jessica simpson 16.99 and then i picked up um one in white it's like a cream white the buttons are a little bit different on this one but still super cute the buttons Hopefully I can see that or like got a little rhinestone razzle dazzle. Um, both of these were $16.99. I'm definitely excited about wearing these um, when it gets a little cooler. Actually, at nighttime here, it's a little cool. It's still like this past week, it was in the mid 50s. Like I was waking up in the morning and it was like 53, but then it kind of warmed up throughout the day actually this past week was beautiful 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 weather it was like from 70s and then yesterday and today i think were like the hottest days 85 86 which is still nice actually you know not too hot and that's warm still spring but you know it's coming you know the summer is coming baby I'm starting to, like, I am a summer baby, but I am really, with these heat waves and the 115s, 120s, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. Um, y'all, hold on. I got some goodies in this box. I, got some, I hope they didn't throw this box, because I did order some makeup. So, if you don't know, um, Macy's, when Macy's has their friends and family sale, um, Items are up to 30% or should I say this clothing shoes like stuff like that home decor all of those items are up to 30% of course there are some exclusions however fragrances are 15% off now I will say this um, back in the day they did not used to exclude any of the fragrances because I actually picked up a number of my I guess more expensive designer brand fragrances like you know like your Tom Ford, Chanel, things like that, Versace. I had got those um under the fifteen percent off now. Um for whatever reason and I hope they don't change this but Tom Ford is on sale. Now we know Tom Ford is high but Chanel um is excluded from the fifteen percent but y'all here are the goodies that we're going to be going through i got a few goodies here i want to show you guys and i am excited to share so let me see how i'm gonna sit y'all up high. put y'all back up here Woo. all right y'all don't pay attention to anything in my house because baby i need to clean up the way how things are sitting up here today honey I've been wanting this Too Faced Cloud Crush. Um, I've been wanting to try this. Focus, focus, focus. The packaging, of course, Too Faced is always super cute. This is Candy Clouds is the um, color. Y'all already know the packaging is about to be super cute. It's pink. It's like definitely bubblegum, baby pink. And again, like I said, all, I don't know the prices off hand, but you guys basically, mm, oh my goodness, this smells so good. It smells like candy, 15% um, off. So it's a good time to basically order makeup and fragrances um, right now. I even picked up, a, I picked up a few items from MAC. Actually, yeah, I picked up a good amount of items from Mac. Um, this is the skin finish. 
bronzers. I picked up two bronzers from them. The packaging is super cute. It's giving all the summer like golden vibes. I picked up a Radiant Richer Rosy and Radiant Rich Rosy. So let's open Rich Rosy first because I think Rich Rosy is supposed to be a little bit lighter than um, the other one. Now, why don't this have that seal on it? Now, I don't like that. So, you know how makeup is supposed to have the seal on it? And I'm I'm also not liking this lighting, but... Okay, this is Radiant Rich Rosy. Y'all, I, I really want to try this, but I don't want to... I don't want to try it, so... We'll see. This is Radiant Rich Rosy. I might have to stop by the MAC up. Duh. It looked pretty online, but I might have to stop by the MAC counter and give it a try first before I actually decide to keep this. Because um, it might go bad. This is the Radiant Richer Rosy. Let me show y'all this one. This one's a little darker. And of course, I'm with it for it being a little darker because, I mean, the summertime, you know, we want this one is actually really pretty. I see the sparkles in this one. How pretty is that gonna be on my skin tone for the summer with a with a highlight? Oh, that's pretty. That one I might keep for sure. I love the packaging. Love, love, love the packaging. Packaging is super cute. I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be my thumbnail for this. <laughs> this video because uh, y'all I'm missing something oh no I ain't here it is I did stop by the mat counter while I was um and I completely forgot to look at the bronzers but I did look at the lipstick so I used to have a lipstick like this I, I should show y'all it's the retro matte liquid lip color um it dries down, I believe, like a matte. And I don't know what happened. I think it, I lost it or something. I don't know. Or maybe I, I didn't use it all up. But nevertheless, I couldn't remember what um, color it was. And I was like, there was one that I've been wanting to get that's a little brighter, kind of more on the lines of like my nail color almost but it does look a little darker it's a little brighter on this one is called fashion legacy and i did try this on on in a store and y'all it is like the perfect holiday red super bright and cute um i think it would look good on anybody but it definitely it, it, it definitely looks good um on um chocolate skin tone so i really really like that one then I needed to re-up on eyebrow, um, I don't, not pomade, but this is called the Focus, oh my goodness. This is called the Brow Wiz. This is called the Tinted Brow Gel, actually. I got chocolate and I got auburn. I like to mix them. Auburn is more of a, like a reddish kind of, um, and obviously chocolate is chocolate. The, all the ones that I have, I probably should have thrown them away a long time ago, but shy. I've been using them. I'm like, okay, go ahead. This is the perfect time to order you some brand new ones because I know you have been having those things for years. And girl, <laughs> you know, we are really supposed to be throwing away our makeup, but baby, I know I keep my makeup past the 12 month expiration. <laughs> Y'all let me know if y'all keep, do y'all keep y'all makeup past the 12 month expiration? I know I cannot be the only one. I know. Because first of all, makeup costs too much. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. Makeup costs too much. And if you don't wear makeup every day, who is about to be throwing it away after a year? I know I'm not. All right. I got some perfume goodies now these let me just say this this is my favorite chanel perfume um and i hope y'all don't go buy it out but if you love a floral scent honey this is the one for you it is evive um 
this is the larger ounce no it wasn't a part of the 15 percent off so this one did cost i think it was 145 and for some reason i feel like this used to actually this is in the edu toilette it used to come in the perfume but for some reason it's not in a perfume anymore and it's only in the edu toilette and i'm like i wonder if they're gonna make uh like a package deal for um mother's day but i hope they're not getting ready to discontinue um this one because it is my favorite and if they are i'm probably gonna have to buy another one i'm probably gonna have to buy another one i read somewhere it said perfumes won't expire um as long as they're not open so i don't know how good that is but we'll see and then um this is my favorite tom ford um tom ford perfume perfume hell the edu toilet is so expensive but the perfume if you were gonna get a 3.4 bottle i think it's like 300 dollars. but this is the uh, shimmering body oil um y'all it is so so pretty on the skin tone perfect 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 for spring and summer if you're wondering like what that looks like and you haven't tried it i suggest going to sephora and asking for a sample um they'll definitely give you a sample of it get you a few get you a few samples um so y'all i am i gotta hang up clothes i thought that we would be putting together um my bookcase today but yeah it's not happening <laughs> it's not happening captain it's not happening um I'm not gonna even front, I'm not gonna even lie. I am about to eat this food and then I am going to go take me a shower, put on me some PJs, honey, and y'all, it's a spider or something, oh Lord. Before I was rudely interrupted, um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm tired. I am about to throw down on my burrito bowl here and i'm gonna holler at y'all in the next video like i'll go ahead and just save what is that part three of the putting together a billy bookcase diy closet for tomorrow i have this video to edit amongst some other reels i need to get back on my tiktok editing <laughs> and yeah I'll holler at y'all in the next video. If you're new here, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And see you later, girlies, in the next one. Love you. Peace.